Christmas decorations certainly have evolved over the years, and this morning we're headed back in time. That's right. We're checking out what Christmas will be like Victorian style. Emily Dean joins us live from Green Bay with more. Hi, Em. Good morning, Angie and Doug. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, a lot of things have evolved over the years. We're taking a look at a Victorian Christmas here at the, his at the Hazelwood Historic House Museum. Now, a fun little fact, this house was built in 1837. It was the largest house on the east side of the Fox River. We're in the dining room right now where it's decorated. I have to show you this really quick, though. Down here is what they call a plate warmer. Now, they didn't have a microwave. They didn't have any of that back in the day. What they did was they put the plates in here. Now, this is tin. It would warm the plates up so the food would be warm. Pretty cool to see that. But nowadays, you have your stove. You have your microwaves. Sally Enlow with the museum is here with me now. Another thing, Sally, Holly was huge for decorating. And the mantle here is all decorated. Tell us about that. Holly is a plant that stays green through the winter. And of course, we have this whole idea of living things. You know, there are a lot of plants that won't survive winters in New England, in Wisconsin, in, uh, any of the northern states. And so holly was something that was used to decorate because of the fact that it remained green. Now, we're in the dining room. We have a lot of period furniture, but we also have a lot of antiques that they used in the Victorian age. Can you tell us about these? Uh, what we have on the table here is this is marzipan candy. And it's probably something that most people don't see unless they come to a museum. This is the oyster stew pot. Oysters were something that was felt to be uh, something you had at New Year's and Christmas because it was felt to bring you good luck for the new year. And the rest of the table is set up as a buffet for like what we would call New Year's Day visiting. And that in Green Bay was when all the people went around from house to house and visited each other during the holidays. The sad thing about it is, is usually someone, the woman usually of the house, had to stay behind to keep this table going. The men and the children would go out and about and visit all over the city. And so, but it was a fun time for everyone. Now we see that the holly, that's the one thing I love looking at these decorations are throughout the entire room. Is that something that would only be in the dining room or would it be throughout the entire house? No, it could be in most any room. It's just that holly happened to be the the choice for this room this year. Okay, well, if you want to see a Victorian Christmas, these tours start here in Green Bay on the 11th. We've set up all the information on our website, box11online.com. We'll send it back to you. It certainly is beautiful. It is. You don't have to worry about the lights burning out either in a yeah. Victorian Christmas. <laughs> yeah. That's not